This was the happiest I had ever been. I was about to start a family with the love of my life. But the only problem was that we didn't have a lot of money. I was forced to go back to work. One day, my husband asked me to give him some money for this big game. He said that if we won, we would never have to work again, but we had to borrow the money from my work. My husband promised that no one would find out, so I did what he asked and took the money that night. For a moment, it seemed like everything would work out until we lost the game and my boss found out. We had lost all the money I borrowed and I was fired from my job immediately. I didn't know what to do. All of our belongings were taken away, our furniture, our car, and the house we bought to raise a family in had to be sold. Our whole life was gone, just like that. Nothing was left except for my husband and the baby growing in my belly. We were homeless. My husband and I decided that I would go stay with my parents while he worked out what to do. It was for the best because I didn't want the stress to affect our baby. When I arrived at my parents' house, I tried to put on a brave face, but inside, I would worry about our future. I only had a little bit of money left, and I didn't know when I would see my husband again. I would often cry myself to sleep, questioning, how did it come to this? We were going to have a wonderful life together, but now we had nothing. It was all my fault. A month had passed, and I still hadn't heard anything from my husband. The last thing he told me to do was to lay low and try not to go out too much in case anyone came looking for us. I didn't know what to do, but I trusted that he would come and get us. So during that time, I kept my word and rarely spoke to any of my friends. But because I didn't have much contact with the outside world, I had no idea that my husband was cheating on me the entire time. When I first found out, it broke my heart. It felt like my dreams were taken away from me. I gathered myself and called my husband, asking him to choose. He told me that he didn't want anything to do with me and chose her. He had even lied about having no money when in fact, he was secretly taking money from me and used it to buy a house. My husband had been living this whole new life while I suffered alone. I was so naive to think he would never hurt me. I loved him and trusted him with my entire heart and believed he had wanted our baby as much as I did. But in the end, all he really cared for was my money. He had taken everything from me and left me and my baby with nothing. With no money and no idea what to do with the baby on the way, I decided to apply to work in a factory. I felt so ashamed of my life. I went from working as the main clerk of the company, making thousands per month, to now working as a factory girl and only making 165 baht per day. During that time, I felt like I wanted to disappear and not live this life anymore, but I couldn't. I had my baby to take care of. I couldn't give up because she didn't deserve what my husband did to us. So I put on a brave face and tried my best. I worked as a factory girl for almost two years. Every day, I would have to wake up at 4 a.m. and I wouldn't finish work until very late in the night. With the birth of my daughter, I couldn't afford to stop working, so I had no choice but to leave my baby with my grandmother. To make ends meet, I started selling food on the side of the road. At first, it was really hard, but after a while, life got easier and I started to enjoy working a lot. My daughter made it all seem worth it. I focused on trying to give her the best life that I could. But little did I know that life was about to get so much harder. One night, my friends and I decided to go out to a casino. I wanted to see what the fuss was about, and I figured that I wouldn't be like my ex-husband and could go have fun with my friends. But before I knew it, I started to gamble, believing that even if I lost a little now, if I just bit more, then I would win big. I felt like I had to do it for my daughter, but I was so wrong. The greed slowly ate me up, and all I could think about was that once I won, I would quit and walk away. But my greed just kept getting bigger and bigger until I spent every night in the casinos, constantly spending any money I made and never even thinking about what I was doing. At first, I kept winning, 
And every time I won, I would tell myself that this would be it. But the next night, I would be back, betting all of the money all over again until there was nothing left. All of our money was gone, but this time, I couldn't blame anyone else but myself. I was blinded by the man I thought would be always by my side. My friends tried to warn me about him, but I refused to believe them. And now, this greed had taken over my life, hidden behind my need to provide for my daughter. This was a wake-up call, and I knew I couldn't keep doing this. I needed to get better, to do better, for my daughter. It has been a few years now, and I have been able to watch my daughter grow into a wonderful person. After I hit rock bottom, I chose to fight my urges, and through hard work, I was able to finally beat it. I hope that my story serves as an example that even if times get really hard and you feel like you have no one to turn to, betting is never the answer. So do better for the people you love, because even if it seems like you can win big, in the end, it will ruin your life. <laughs>